Jeshi Mataji. Buongiorno a tutti. Benvenuti alla meditazione del mattino. Facciamo una mascar, ci alziamo la Kundalini e ci diamo sette banda. Jeshi Mataji, good morning to all of you and welcome to this morning meditation. We can make namaskar to Shri Mataji, raise our kundalini and give ourselves seven bandhans. Iniziamo portando l'attenzione sulla foto di madre. Guardiamo il suo viso per qualche minuto e chiediamo dentro di noi Madre, per favore, ferma tutti i miei pensieri. can all look at the photo of Shri Mataji and silently ask Shri Mataji to stop all our thoughts. Continuando a mantenere l'attenzione su di lei, possiamo dire il mantra Shri Ganesha. Keeping our attention on Shri Mataji, we can all say the mantra to Shri Ganesha. Oh. Ora portiamo Shri Mataji nel nostro cuore. Arrendiamo a lei qualsiasi preoccupazione. Shri Mataji, per favore, vieni nei nostri cuori. Riempi il nostro cuore di amore, di forza, di coraggio. Donaci il tuo leone la tua tigre, per distruggere tutte le negatività nascoste dentro di noi. Placing Shri Mataji in our heart, we can surrender all our problems. Shri Mataji, please come into my heart and fill my heart with love. Please allow, please allow us to use your, your lion and your tiger to destroy all negativity within us. Shri Mataji, noi ci arrendiamo completamente a te. Shri Mataji, we humbly surrender to you. 
Insieme possiamo recitare il Padre Nostro. We can now say the Lord's Prayer. Padre Nostro, che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo e così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano, rimetti a noi i nostri debiti, come noi le rimettiamo ai nostri debitori, non ci indurre in tentazioni, ma liberaci dal male, perché tu è la gloria, la potenza nei secoli dei secoli. Ora per entrare in consapevolezza senza pensieri possiamo recitare il mantra Shri Nirvichara. Now to go into thoughtless awareness we can say the mantra to Shri Nirvichara. Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Nirvichara Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Ora per dissolvere tutto il nostro ego recitiamo per tre volte Shi Ma Hankara. Now to remove all our ego we can say the mantra to Shri Mahankara. Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Mahankara Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaham Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Maham Hankara Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Sakshat Shri Mahankara Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Ora, mantenendo l'attenzione sul Sahazara, andremo a vedere il video del 1981, Meditazioni guidata da Shimataji, Prana e Mana. 
keeping our attention on Sastara, we will now watch a video of Shri Mataji, 1981, meditation guided by Shri Mataji, Prana and Mana. Now, uh, what we can do is to, today, what should I tell you, the practical side, the meditation, all right? Let's see what is meditation is, what we have to do for a meditation. The first thing we have got is the left side, is the mana shakti, is the power of your emotions, all right? Now, emotions are connected with your right side also, prana. Say, for example, if you are emotionally disturbed, just now we got disturbed. So our shwas, our uh, breathing also increased and we felt the whole body was sort of reacting and the, we were feeling the uh, reaction of the prana, right side also that it was trying to express itself. Like we started, the tears is the water element and all that came in and the whole emotion was so much pouring out. And <coughs> with that our prana was also involved. Say, for example, if you are frightened, if you are frightened, she's not doing it, it's all right. If you are frightened too much, then what happens? She's all right. If you are frightened, then also you get your breathing very fast, isn't it? So it is connected. Yes, come in, come. So it is connected. If you are frightened, it is connected with your uh, prana in your breathing and your whole system is connected with your emotions, physical system. If you cry too much or if you weep too much or if you are a sad person, that shows on your face, your, your Vishuddhi chakra also shows. And not only anatha, but also Vishuddhi. Then also your agya goes out. So all the chakras reflect the left side in such a way that physical manifestation is also there. So it proves that both are very much connected. So to, if you have to, somehow or other dissolve these two sides within us, the left and the right side. Because if you do not dissolve it, you are left halfway here. So you have to dissolve these two things. And to dissolve these, what should we do? What can we do in meditation? Can you suggest? Say, we have got prana and mana. Now prana represents the right side and the mana shakti is the left side. All right? These two have to be dissolved. Laya means dissolve. Now how do we do it? To dissolve these two things. They are connected with each other. After realization, not before. So before meditation we give ourselves a balance, all right? Which side is more, which side is less? At the time, supposing you are emotionally that time disturbed, then you put your right to the left. If you are that time disturbed on the left side, uh, I mean disturbed in the sense that if your left side is frozen, then you raise your left side and give yourself a balance before meditation. Now, let us see which side is less, first of all. Put your hands like this, like this. Are you all right? Getting cool breeze? Getting it? And this I'm not all right. Better? 
Are you getting in this side? No? Something moving? <coughs> cool breeze is coming now. Is there cool breeze? Is it? There is cool breeze in your hand. Are you feeling? So, once you have given yourself a balance, then the best thing is to pay attention to your emotions, to Manasha. Watch them. You can enlighten your emotions by thinking of your mother, right? Just enlighten them. Just she will solve the problem. Whatever are the problems in the mana, all right? So once you get connected with those emotions and you start looking at them in your meditation, you will see these emotions are rising within you and if you try to put these emotions on your mother, as they said, the lotus feet of your mother, they will start also resolving those emotions and they'll become sort of uh, expanded, expands. You will extend that in such a way that you, you will feel you are in control of these emotions you are in control of them and by that controlling those emotions, your emotions which are expanded, enlightened, are powerful. And these emotions, when you feel that way, then the cause of those emotions can be solved. For example, just now you got emotionally stirred up because I talked about, say, these children. Naturally, anybody would be. Now, when you are stirred up with that, you put that problem of those feelings that are rising in you, that those waves of feelings that are coming at the lotus feet of your mother. So they get touched, say, by that power, you can say. Then these emotions become enlightened. And when these emotions become enlightened, they have a power to solve the problem. Do you see the point? As if they have reached the shore where they got the light and this problem can be solved. Because now you are not in a, an individual cell, you are in the expanse, you are in the samashti. And because you have entered into that position, that's why you have got these powers of entering into another person's body to see the vibrations of another person to raise the Kundalini, otherwise you could not have done. So for you it is very easy to do it, because I am also sitting here in person. So easy to put these emotions just there so that they get enlightened and your wish is fulfilled, because emotions are nothing but wishes. These are unfulfilled wishes. Now, how they do it otherwise? is also this way that you take up these emotions and put them. So that is, these emotions are actually the left side, as I said, is the desire. So the desire is taken, any desire, and is put in the prana. Now how do you put it on the prana? that you control your prana. That's why they do pranayamas, see? Like you sit down now very comfortably, now you have a desire, you put your attention to that. Attention is very important, see? Now this attention is to be put onto the prana. So the emotions are there, and then bring those emotions and put them into your attention. Means they are 
now you are aware of that. Now what you do is to watch your breathing. See now, try to reduce your breathing. Reduce it in the sense that you have breathed out, wait for a while, then breathe in. For a long time, then you breathe out. So in one minute your breathing will be less than normal. All right? Try that. Breathe in. Now with the emotions, keep the attention on the emotions, you see, so that the connection is established. Better? See the Kundalini rises? Now, when you are breathing, you find that there is a space in between which you just leave it vacant. Breathe in, now leave it vacant. Now breathe out. Now leave it vacant. Breathe in, keep it there, then leave it. Keep outside, now breathe in. Now start breathing in such a way that you stop your breathing. Attention should be on the heart or could be on the emotions. It's better. Keep the breathing inside for a while, bring it out, then outside for a while. Then again, then you'll find that for a while you will not breathe. Hmm. See, you settle now. The laya takes place between your prana and your mana. Both the shaktis become one. Now, at this stage when you are silent, now you think of your intellect. It's lost. Just think of it, it's lost, it's no more there. So what is happening? Actually, that this laya, the attention goes into the intellect and enlightens the intellect. See, the thought is not there. Try to find your intellect within yourself. Now see, see, where is my intellect? Try to find it. It's not there. It's not working. Again try it. It is working, but it has become the samashti. It's become the collective now. Ah. It's 
Did you follow that? There's no thought. This exercise will give you this thoughtless awareness, establishment of thoughtless awareness. There is no thought. So the second lesson, all right? May God bless. Thank you.
Jeshi Mataji. Mantenendo l'attenzione sul Sazara Chakra, andiamo a cantare insieme i tre mantra del Sazara. Jeshi Mataji, keeping our attention on our Sazara, we can now say the three great mantras. Ora di nuovo insieme possiamo alzarci la Kundalini, darci sette banda e fare Namaskar. We can all raise our Kundalinis and make Namaskar to Shri Mataji.
Ringraziamo tutte le sorelle e tutti i fratelli che questa mattina hanno meditato insieme al collettivo di Firenze. Jeshi Mataji. Thank you all our brothers and sisters for joining us in the meditation which is conducted by Florence. Per chi lo desidera può continuare ancora a meditare. For those of you that desire to meditate, you can continue. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji.